The results are in for a groundbreaking new facial recognition system being tested in San Diego. And now 10 News broke the story in November of that technology, which can identify faces in just seconds. Well, new at 7 reporter Michael Chen shows us the serious concerns about how that technology could be used. Introducing Face First. In this animation, a person's face is scanned as he's walking into a room. His image run through a database. The type of technology has arrived in San Diego. The results of the test have been overwhelmingly positive. Pamela Scanlon heads Argus, a group within Sandag that helped test the technology. 75 mobile devices were used by agencies like police and border patrol. Scanlon says over the past four months, people suspected of criminal activity, many evasive about their identities, were asked if their photo could be snapped. Those photos were run through a database of more than a million county booking photos. And within seconds, an answer. More than 250 people have been positively identified with the system, including one woman wanted for a felony. Authorities say the instant match is key. Timeliness is really important, and especially in the case of abductions and kidnaps. So we put this tablet to work, or taking a picture of Miss Scanlon. Within a few seconds, a match to another photo of her placed in the system with more than 99% confidence. San Diegans don't want to be the nation's guinea pig of surveillance. The local ACLU called the test disturbing. Executive Director Kevin Keenan says the next crisis could expand the photos in the database or usage of the technology leading to government abuse. Americans don't want to walk around being watched by their government like some characters in a George Orwell novel. A piece of fiction no longer inconceivable amid the ongoing debate between technology and privacy. Michael Chen, 10 News. And the ACLU says the lack of public input for program, uh, the program is disturbing. Scanlon points out the devices are only used when criminal activity is suspected. A federal grant will expand the program to all law enforcement agencies in the region within just a year.